Local leaders hope they have figured out a way to pay for a convention center for Terre Haute. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Remember that members of Beagle County's Capital Improvement Board said the convention center isn't dead, but it may require help from the Indiana General Assembly. If passed, that help will come in the form of a food and beverage tax. News 10's John Swanner fills us in about what this could mean for you. It's tonight's top story. Several Vigo County and Terre Haute leaders made the trip from Terre Haute to the Indiana State House today to testify on behalf of Senate Bill 35. That bill would establish a food and beverage tax for Vigo County. The bill would add 1% to your bills at Vigo County restaurants. Senator John Ford sponsored the bill and he says the bill would generate about $2 million annually for a convention center. This year we're actually getting to testify on it. We didn't last time. We have a specific project. Um, so that really helps. The hearing for Senate Bill 35 took place in the same room where last year's casino bill was defeated. This year, Vigo County saw much different results. The Committee on Tax and Policy passed the bill 11 to nothing. That was amazing. I was very surprised because there were some tough questions in there. Kelly Ford owns J. Ford's Black Angus in downtown Terre Haute. She spoke with several of the city's restaurant owners who say they're on board with this tax. All they want to know was to make sure that 1% went directly towards tourism and directly to build the convention center. That was all they wanted to know, and then they were on board. Now that Senate Bill 35 has passed committee, it will now move to the Senate for their consideration. If it passes the Senate as expected, it would move to the House Ways and Means Committee. From the Indiana State House, I'm John Swanner. Back to you. News 10 is